Hello Internet and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Gina, otherwise known as Ginger Dash. If you are a returning viewer, thank you. I appreciate you coming back. And as you noticed, for those few of you that may know I mentioned it last week, Hello Internet is back and that's what I'm sticking with for now. So come on along, we're getting ready to ride. I am riding at a different time than usual this week for this particular video. And that brings me to my very first question for you. And that is, do you have a favorite time of day that you like to ride? For me, I prefer to ride in the late afternoon, early evening for two reasons. Because it tends to be the coolest part of the day. Okay, wait, three reasons. Uh, because it tends to be the coolest part of the day, especially in the summertime. Uh, the second reason is because I'm a night owl and getting up at the crack of dawn to get on a motorcycle is pretty much impossible for me. <laughs> and number three, because I love chasing sunsets. So I'm curious to know if you will just basically take any chance you get to ride. If you are a early up and out the door kind of rider, or if you're like me and you like to ride, you know, in the evening. But whatever your reasons, I am going to pin a comment at the top of this video. And if you would, drop your answers right there. I'd love to hear from you. When I came out today, I really didn't know what I was going to talk about. I did know I wanted to ask that question, but I also knew that it had been kind of a crazy week and have you ever had uh, a day or a week or a time period where you just had too much on your mind where there were so many different thoughts in your head that you just simply could not organize them in a way that made any sense and uh, that's me that's what this week has been like for me for a lot of different reasons. Uh, and one of them has actually been because of the channel. The channel has gone from where it was a little over two weeks ago at a little over 200 subscribers to about 4,000 right now. And the attention has been pretty overwhelming. So just a hint for those of you out there who are considering motovlogging or a YouTube channel or are growing yours right now, uh, the time that you may spend you know, trying to honor those comments and questions that you get on your videos will be significant and you have to prioritize things. That being said, know that I love hearing from you all and even if I'm not able to reply to every comment, I will definitely read every single one and I will certainly acknowledge them. I also want to give a quick shout out to the very first person here on YouTube to ever give a shout out to me. Now he is not the only one, but he was the first one. And he started, I guess, the snowball rolling, uh, so to speak. Uh, and about three weeks ago at least, maybe even four, this lovely gentleman named Bob Nelson shouted out on his channel to me. And he's been on here for, I guess, about a year. He's got less than 200 subscribers and he is just riding around on his bike and sharing his day and his thoughts and he goes out of his way to find new youtubers and to share those with the people that follow him and while he may not have a ton of subscribers the ones that he has are of the same mind it is this big moto vlogging community so i simply wanted to say bob nelson you started this <laughs> And since this particular video is going to be a bit of a mixed bag, I guess, I'm just going to hop over to my next thought. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about what I use equipment-wise for motovlogging. And I'm not going to go into great detail right now, but I am going to say that my equipment, the two GoPros that I use, are both old. They are GoPro Hero 4s. Uh, you can get much better, more advanced models now. There's like a 7, 8, and a 9. I am using what I have because I have it. And for now, it is doing the job. But anyone who is looking for information on starting a motovlog, including helmet setups and things of that nature, 
do a search here on YouTube and look up GoPro helmet setups, MotoVlog helmet setups, and you will find a multitude of, of videos to choose from. Uh, you may have to dig a little bit and you may have to watch a bunch of them. Before I started this channel, I watched, I don't know, probably easily a hundred hours of videos. And those videos that I watched were not just on helmet setups, it was on everything. Uh, editing, which editing software, editing tutorials, YouTube tips. If you're serious about starting a channel of any sort, there are resources out there and there is no quick, simple answer that I can give you. It comes down to investing a lot of time into planning and learning. And if you do that, you can start off with some relatively good looking content. So continuing the mixed bag <laughs> that is today. Ah, gosh, what do I even wanna tell you? There are always going to be concepts that uh, you have to learn or that will benefit you greatly as a new rider. And I implore you to go out there and if you cannot take a class locally, then do what I did and seek out the people I've mentioned before, Moto Jitsu, uh, Jerry Palladino, Ride Like a Pro, uh, MC Rider, if you want some incredibly thorough and truly beneficial uh, riding tutorials. Those are the channels I recommend you start with. In fact, if you have not yet purchased a bike and you have not yet taken a course like the MSF or something similar, I suggest you go out and you find those channels now before you ever own a bike or sit on a bike and start to internalize the concepts because they will benefit you when you go to take the class. That's what I did. I had already started watching tutorials before I ever bought my bike. And I think the final thing I wanna close with today is to simply encourage men, don't be offended, but I want to encourage all of the women out there who have thought about riding and have not taken that step for one reason or another, I want you to know that there are a lot of us out here. There are a lot of women who have taken up the sport, who are loving it, who are learning it. And if it is something that you are interested in, don't allow anyone to tell you you can't do it. Because if you want to do it, and if it's right for you, give it a shot. So this, my friends, is where I leave you this week. I hope that you have a fantastic week. I hope the weather warms up everywhere it possibly can up north, and you soon experience the warmth known as spring. I am going to turn off these cameras. I'm going to enjoy my ride, and then I am going to go home and take a walk because I need to be outside today. And if you can't do it, I hope this view of Florida has helped you just a little bit to experience ah, the beauty of a day, even if you can't experience it personally. That's it for now. Until next time.